Those across the interior woke to a very wintry scene Friday morning with the first significant snowfall of the season. The snow began in Kelowna sometime around 7 a.m. and it's expected to continue through the evening across the interior. The low elevation snow is definitely rare, but not unheard of. We have had snow at the end of October, but it doesn't happen very often. And therefore, we're going to break a record when it happens. For example, like in the, if I look at the records for the last week or two of October, we have had anywhere from maybe 10 to 15 centimeters of snow a few times on historical record, but it's just very rare. We're forecasting perhaps 5 to 10, and then as we go up in the valley uh, to higher terrain, it could be 20, right, down towards the further south and west you go today, the worse it is, because there's a little low coming down the coast, and it's colliding with the Arctic air that's trying to move into our area. The snowfall has already broken records in Penticton, and Kelowna is close behind. We've seen already 11 centimeters of snow in Penticton. Uh, their old record was 10 and change, not 11. Uh, and records in Penticton go back to 1907, so this means that of any day in October, it's the snowiest ever for Penticton. And Kelowna's close. We need just 12.7. If we could get over 12.7 today, it would be the snowiest day for any day in October. High elevation highways are also getting hit hard, and the Coquihalla was closed Friday morning due to spun out semi-trucks. Lundquist says he's also concerned about trees coming down, and just now, large branches have been breaking behind me in City Park. So the trees are full of leaves. We haven't even had frost, and now it's snowing like this. I'm worried about, like, possibility of down lines, and people aren't ready because they didn't even think it was coming. Like, are people prepared with their winter tires and what they need to be safe? So I want people to be safe and, and take care and start winterizing. The skies are expected to clear Saturday on BC's Election Day, but temperatures won't get much higher than zero across the interior. Warmer temperatures should be back in the valley by next week. For Castanet News here in downtown Kelowna, I'm Nick Johansson.